Okay, time for level seven of Lightbot. So let's go to congregate. Ah, okay. Games. So we played Lightbot. So this is a little game where you get a robot to light up squares on the ground and then programming in the process. So let's load the game on level 7. Reusing functions is great for repetitive tasks. Okay. So I think the point here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We've got 14 light uh, pads to light up on the ground with this robot, which and each one requires it to move forward and start the light like so, which means you need 28 commands and we've got 1, 2, 3, 12, add 16, which is 30, so I can probably do it actually. Oh dear. Ah, but I've got to rotate twice as well, so I can't fit it all in here so we can see trying to do this, it's just not going to work. Do we have to use functions properly? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 2, uh, forward, light, rotate again. We've still got six more to go. I can only do four here. One, two, three, four. So you can see that's as much as I can do using this sort of straight through method. So he runs out, so you've still got two left to do, so we're going to have to use a slightly cleverer way of using functions. So let's clear all this out with reset and do it a bit better. So instead of that we can say do function one. That's function one. In fact, yeah, let's go forward and turn the light on. So you can see that when you call that block, that block calls these eight blocks and there's only two used. So I could actually do Four. Well, actually, let's do three. Two, three. Do another three. Just like that. Then, so that will bring it up to here. So then I can just go forward, light, rotate. Forward, light, rotate. F1, F1. So what this does is it does three. Then another three, and does these two on their own. Just by forward light, rotate, forward light, rotate, and then you do three, and then another three. It's probably not optimal, but it's fairly quick. So actually a way we could slightly do this even more efficiently would be to do that as a function two. Like so. And if you get rid of that and call that function two. Get rid of that, call that function two, shuffle everything along. And then it's all functions. Um, so you can see here in function one we're calling function two. There we go. Okay. So that worked. Uh, level 8 for another video another time. So I think one of the awkward things about this game is you can't really choose what level you're on. Never mind.